everyone, Cadams Tech here. In today's video, I want to go over the power of networking to get your first junior developer job. But first, if you're new to my channel, please remember to like and subscribe. It'll really help the YouTube algorithm push my videos out to a wider audience. Make sure and drop a comment down below. Um, it helps keep us engaged, and I promise I'll try and do my best to get back to every single one of your comments. All right, so the power of networking. Um, the power of networking is real. Um, I've done this when I was on my pursuit of becoming a junior developer, and even to this day, I still think it's very powerful. Um, how should you go about it? So one thing I'll do is I'll go to meetup.com. Um, a lot of areas, especially larger cities, have developer-related meetups. You can go to meetup.com, you can search web developer, you can search front-end developer, you can search even specific technologies like React, TypeScript, um, JavaScript, whatever it is that you're interested in, be, in doing as a career, um, check out and look for those types of meetups in your area. Um, I have quite a few in my area. I live in the Tampa Bay area, so there's just an enormous amount. So go to meetup.com, see if there are any meetups in your area, um, and usually they list out the day, the time, the location, and not only that, but a lot of meetups are virtual now. So if you don't have meetups directly in your area, go ahead and check out meetup.com and look for some virtual meetups. And you can do it right over your, your webcam. And also, sometimes you don't even need to turn on your webcam. Um, so meetup.com is great. I actually used to run a meetup called Open Code. I did that for about four years straight. And I did it once a month without skipping a single month. And Open Code was a place where people would come out and they would share what kind of projects they've been working on and um, people of all skill levels, varying skill levels. So we could have juniors, we could have those that are aspiring juniors, we could have senior level developers. Um, we had a good mix. Uh, but that aside, meetups, meetup.com, highly recommend. Guys, the fact of the matter is ooh, that meetups are a powerful way of getting your first junior developer job. I'm telling you, you have to do it. You have to, if you don't. Okay, so outside of meetup.com, um, I would look at Discord groups. I would look at Slack groups and try and Google around for those. There's a lot of um, Slack groups and Discord groups for specific technologies. I know there's some for React, there's some for Rust, there's some for Python, there's, some, there's many for virtually every single technology. I highly recommend getting into one of those groups and start engaging with people, start talking to people. Make your presence known. Make it, know that you, make it known that you are interested in technologies and that you're trying to become a junior developer. And by forming these connections, um, it's a very powerful thing to do because you could form, you could gain friendships, you could have people one day reach out to you and say, hey, you know what? I think you should apply to my, my company. I'll put in a good word for you. I've had this happen so many times um, and it's, it's helped. It's helped quite a lot. So believe it or not, I actually met before I, I landed my first junior developer job, while I was still learning HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, which I have other videos uh, discussing how to go about that, um, I actually met my engineering manager and my lead developer before I was ever hired at the company. And I met them two years in advance, uh, having not known that we were all going to work together. And this was attending meetups. This was forming those connections. They were keeping a close eye on me. They wanted to see my skills develop. And then the moment they thought that I would be a good fit, boom, they snagged me up. They both put a good word in for me with the hiring manager. And I, I, was, I was locked in. I was locked in and I worked at that company for four years. And uh, it was a startup. It was towards the tail end of the startup. This shirt is actually from that company. And then we were acquired by Motorola Solutions during my time of working there. So that was a cool experience going from a small 12 developer company to being thousands of developers overnight. Um, so you never know what's gonna happen. So while you're attending these meetups, while you're in the Discord channel, continue developing your skills, continue building on projects. Don't just put all of your efforts into that. You have to spread yourself a little bit thin and make progress in various areas. So I would say make it a goal to maybe once a week um, attend a meetup, you know? Uh, if you're doing a Discord channel or a Slack channel, don't just be a, by, a bystander. Try and engage in the conversation. Try and chip in where you can. Form those connections. Um, 
And at the same time, like I said, continue developing your skills, try and build some projects. So when push comes to shove, someone tells you to apply to their company, you can say to the hiring manager, hey, check out this thing that I've built. And try not to make it like a generic type of project. Try not to make it like um, tic-tac-toe or things that employers have seen over and over and over again. Try to make it unique. Try to make it something that you might be passionate about building for, that you would use your own self. Or try to make it a project that you built for a friend or family member that they could use for their business. This will go a long way because then you can list this as freelance on your resume. If you follow these tips, I guarantee you, you'll be far closer to getting your first junior developer job. Okay, it's, it's the right mixture and the right combination of doing things. You're gonna need more than just pure technical skill, right? A lot of being a developer is socializing, believe it or not. You might think that developers are hermit crabs in their basement, locked away from people, but it's not really that way in the real world. The real world, it's very much a communicative profession. It's very much necessary to get along with coworkers, to um, be able to communicate, to be able to jive, be a culture fit. And this is where networking comes in. This is where your communication skills come in. Be, having technical skills, having the skills to actually build apps is a very small part of the job. You know, it's a crucial part of the job, but it's not everything, okay? Picture this, picture two different developers. One that it has the most amazing technical skills, but doesn't really, isn't really a people person, doesn't get along with people, right? And then, and then we have another developer who has mediocre technical skills, but everyone likes, everyone wants to help out, everyone wants to see become better. Which of these two do you think people are gonna to wanna to be around more? Cause I know which one, I know which one by far. And it's the truth. So, but if, you, if you're a developer where you have amazing technical skills and you can jive well with coworkers, you're a force to be reckoned with. That's what you wanna aim for. You wanna aim for being a good fellow coworker, very helpful to others, very communicative, everyone gets along with, and you have really good technical skills, right? You're forced to be reckoned with. You're locked in. Nobody's gonna wanna see anything bad happen to you. So try and aim for that. So thank you for taking the time to watch this video. These tips I'm telling you because I really do believe they work. They worked for me, I've seen them work for others. Till next time. See you guys later. Oh God, it is attending meetups.